Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and I'm gonna give you 10 reasons why you should own a 50 millimeter lens. What a cool, what a cool wink. So, reason number one is they are cheap, really cheap, only $120 or 90 pounds. And you can pick yourself up one of these. It's not a fake, it's not a knockoff, it's not a bad version of one, they're just that cheap. 50 millimeter, 1.8, $120. Perfect, which is cheap when you can imagine spending $10,000 on just one lens when you get into the Pro Series. Anyway, so they are cheap. Reason number two. This is a prime lens. There is no zoom. It will not take you, it will not zoom close to something or pull away. You have to walk on your feet with that. But what that means is there is hardly any glass inside this. You can see by me twiddling this little thing, you can see all the way through there. And in this lens here, it's hardly any glass. There's like five or six pieces. That means you are going to get a sharp, sharp image. And that is in fact reason number three. You will get sharp images from this lens. Um, quickly and simply, point, focus, shoot, it's gonna come out sharp. Is it going to be crazy sharp like a F1.2 50 millimeters? No, but that's gonna cost you $500. This is going to be very sharp and definitely sharper than those kit lenses that you get with your DSLR camera. Okay, reason number four. This is light, it's small, it goes in your camera bag, it goes on your camera, it sits there, there's no problems, it's quick, it's easy, it will travel with you. You can drop, well, I'm not going to drop it, but you could drop it. It's very versatile, it's, so it's light and it's small. That is reason number four. Reason number five, because it has a shallow depth of field of 1.8, you are going to get amazing bokeh. Bokeh, now what does that mean? That is when you focus on something here and the background, it goes all blurry, like my hand will be a little bit now. What that means is that blur, you get the bokeh, which is those, those kind of swollen blobs, okay? Shallow depth of field, you're gonna get better blobs in the background, which is going to make your images pop and stand out more. Again, better than what you're going to get on one of your kit lenses. Reason number six, I think I'm on six, I don't know if I really am, um, it will make you a better photographer. Why will it make you a better photographer? Because you've got to, it's not going to zoom in and out, you're going to have to walk forwards and backwards, you're going to have to think about your framing. It gives you so much versatility by taking away lots of different variables. It just means that you're going to have to think harder and it will make you a better photographer. Why else will it make you a better photographer? Because this should be the first lens you buy after your kit lenses. Okay, if you want to get into photography, buy a 50mm, it's brilliant. Okay, number seven. Why else is this absolutely brilliant? It is because it is as close as you're gonna get pretty much to what, how the human eye sees. Right now, my field of view is this here. This 50 millimeter lens, if I put it on a, a full frame sensor would be this field of view here. And that means it's basically what I'm seeing pretty much. And what that means is it means you're capturing the moment as you're seeing it, which gives great photos. So that's reason number seven. Reason number eight, this is a believe it or not, people are gonna hate me for saying this and I don't use it for this, but it can be a great portrait lens. Okay, I think it gets you a little bit too close when taking a portrait and it distorts people's faces. However, put this on a crop sensor camera and the 50 millimeter actually becomes about a, between an 80 and 90 millimeter lens. What's one of the best lenses that you can get for portraits? 85 millimeters. So on a crop sensor camera, this is great for portraits. Reason number, I'm up to nine and I don't even know if I have anything left. Um, number nine is going to be, it should be the first lens you buy when you have a DSLR. It's going to come, your first DSLR will probably come with the kit lenses and things like that. It's gonna say, 3.5 to 5.6 on the lenses. That's variable when it comes to your your f-stop, okay? This should be the first lens that's going to be really creative. And reason number 10 is because if you're a professional, you always have a 50 millimeter lens. Why not? Just own one, it's good. So that is my top 10 reasons of why you should own a 50 millimeter lens and how it will make you a better photographer. 
check out my blog, photosincolor.com, where I'm going to post some of my photos taken with this lens for $120. Please go to the website and check it out. You can sign up for my free photography guide to taking better travel photos. It's just on the very top of the website there. And you can find out loads of other uh, photography tips and reviews on the site, as well as daily inspirational articles. My name's Ed Gregory, and thank you very much for watching. Oh, and remember, subscribe to my videos. Thank you. Oh. <laughs>